Hello everyone, my name is Ajuna Kiruzi and I'll be giving a short talk about adding AuthZero Universal Login to VOD and Java Web Apps. So a little bit more about me. Like I said, my name is Ajuna. I currently work as a software engineer on Google Maps and I volunteer as a program manager for a nonprofit called AfriCode. I am originally from Dar es Salaam, Tanzania, but I currently live in Brooklyn, New York, and I've previously worked as an SRE on Google Cloud. So to give you an overview on the technologies we'll be using, Vada is a platform for building web apps almost completely in Java. You can use a little bit of TypeScript in the front end if you care to, but I think that it's super easy to build rapidly developing web apps on Java backends with using almost no JavaScript. You can write the UI completely in Java if you care to, and I think that it's helpful for folks who like me might not be front end friendly, or if you're using or working on large enterprise Java backends. Auth0 is an authentication and authorization platform that makes it easy to create your login box, super simple out of the gate. It's very easy to implement various SSOs, including Google, Microsoft, Facebook, and even GitHub and many others. Both Vaden and Auth0 have fantastic getting started docs that I've used on generating both this presentation and the sample application I'll be presenting later. And both of these are available at button.com slash docs and author.com slash docs. So to, let's go look at the sample application that I created. It's available at github.com slash ajunaky slash button dash auth zero. So here we are. Um, so I would like to think that there's a very thorough README that you can look over. It links the different tutorials that I used for building this and also gives you a step-by-step -step guide on how to configure your application if you download this. After signing up for Auth0, you can go to your Auth0 dashboard and you'll be able to go on the settings of your application and add the various URLs that you need for the callback fields in order to authenticate your API key on this web application that you'll be creating. You'll also need to copy your various client IDs and client secret to your application.yaml file, which is within the source main resources path in order to further authenticate your application. Um, after doing all of these, you can just run it using Maven and open um, localhost in order to see what's happening. Um, furthermore, we can kind of look over the code, the bulk of it primarily happens in this part, which has our controller and our model in view. Um, there is a demo application that we'll be looking at later and the home controller essentially just looks over um, after being authenticated to show which page. And we also have stuff that can handle log out and also the profile controller, which I'll show later after authenticating, you can see your profile, and also the security config, which does the majority of our authentication to make sure that folks who aren't logged in can see the various pages that we're talking about. So we can go look at the code in action. So like I said, you can use Maven to run this. So it's MVN spring dash boot, call it run. So what this will do is it'll pull up all our Maven dependencies that we need. This might take a second or two, um, but I've run this before after configuring everything, like I said, using the instructions I wrote down in the readme. So um, actually we are pretty much ready to go. There we are. So what we can do is go back here and go to our local host and see our sample application. So what is happening here is we have some text here that says login. So we can go in and you'll see that the auth0 login box comes up. You can actually change uh, your logo if you have one and add multiple other SSOs, but I chose to just go with Google for now. And then what this is going to do is it's going to use the callback URLs that we configured earlier. Um, to help us authenticate our app. And now you can have two options. You see that you're logged in. You can choose to view your profile, which will show you the profile picture that we got from Google and your email and various other things it has for you. So for me, it's like my name. 
um, and then if you choose to you can also log out if you like um, so if we go back you go stay within the same session and the same view and this continues and persists until we log out even if we refresh the page so when we log out and we refresh the page it stays logged out until you log back in again and that pulls up the auth0 login box again and it goes to my domain that i set up with auth0 when i signed up for my account uh, that's all i have uh, just to an FYI on this flashing red box, this is actually letting us know that the development keys that we're using are not supposed to be used in production, which is fine because we've deployed locally. Um, if you like, there are further instructions both within Auth0 and Vaden about how to deploy both to Docker or to Heroku or other apps that you want to do. But if you have any questions, feel free to reach out to me. My contact is available at edunaky.com, or you can feel free to email me if you care to. Thank you so much. Bye.